personally really like the Chromebooks. I think they're convenient for working at one's own pace. If you get behind in class, it's much easier to catch up, to watch videos you may have missed, to find lessons that have been put online, or even to work on things in class that you're doing on computers without having to wait for another class to finish with them. So during class when I get done with my assignments or anything else like that, instead of just sitting there doing nothing, I'm able to look at colleges, look at scholarships, and do things that I normally would have to wait until I go home and do, and I'm a busy person so it kind of helps me to do it here at school. Most of my teachers do a lot of things online, and with the Chromebooks it's easier to talk to them, um, email them if you have problems with anything, and it's just really easy to get communication with other students if you have to work with projects or anything because you could just email them instead of kids who like don't have Chromebooks who can't do their online stuff and have to find ways to like stay after school to work in like computer labs to get everything done. I'm Jeannie Klein, a science teacher here at Everett High School and I've been working with the Chromebooks in a rather unique way. I want my students to be able to address real world problems and use this technology as part of that. I want them to be able to solve critical situations and to analyze their work. The Chromebook allows us to do that. But we're faced with a, a real life problem of losing our forests. But here at Everett, we've joined with the Gettysburg Nature Alliance to be a part of a larger project to reforest and bring back the Native American chestnut tree. We've actually planted a grove here of about 80 trees, and our students go to the grove to collect data on the trees. Taking the Chromebooks is just a natural thing to do. They're light, they're portable, and they can go wherever we need them to go. We take them over to the Grove, and then we set up our mini lab right there. What happens is the students are sharing a Google Sheet where they enter their data. Each lab group is part of a separate section of the Grove, so they're responsible for entering their data on that section. We're out of the school's Wi-Fi range, but that doesn't really matter. When we come back to the high school, everything sinks in and all of the data is then collectively available to all of the students and even the Gettysburg Alliance. So in that regard, that's a real game changer for us here. The reason I think the Chromebooks are useful in our school is because it gives everyone an equal opportunity and chance to get their work done while using modern technology that introduces us to the real world. Uh, we found the Chromebooks to be really helpful, especially within our district, where a lot of students don't have even access to like the best cell phone or a laptop, basically. So by allowing all students to have a Chromebook, you essentially level the playing field so every student has equal access to technology. Within our school newspaper, I've had students working on the same article while doing research and typing up unique articles of their interest while inputting it into a site while all collaborating. We can also edit all the newspaper articles, which helps us get it out and make it actually sound better, because people can write it, but then we'll make it and edit it, and we use the Chromebooks to edit it, so we can actually have like good articles for the school newspaper. This also gives you the opportunity to uh, like talk with friends, like on Google Docs, like you can be working on the same document at the same time. Google Docs is super easy because you can share with all your classmates. And it's a lot easier than going out to computer labs and it takes a lot less time. Students can work at their own home or wherever while essentially collaborating with an online document with other students. And I've seen students just go to town with this basically. The Chromebooks help us in a positive way to try something new for the school newspaper and to get students to express themselves and maybe come out if they're shy, they can post as anonymous to help people with their problems. And then we can also work together to form friendships with like, people you might not normally talk to. It also helps because we don't have to carry textbooks because one of our teachers have the textbooks online so we don't have to carry the physical book anymore. In general, these computers have uh, allowed me to make my material available to these students at any time. Some students have already worked ahead on material that we're going to get to. So when it comes to teaching that lesson, they're already on board with the concepts they're already on board with what we will be learning as a class and so truthfully it's just making my job easier and easier each year. What I'm doing, I'm, I flipped the classroom, I, I tape my lessons uh, and the kids watch the lessons at home and, and they're able to do that on the Chromebook because everybody has a Chromebook and so what that means is that what is normal homework we actually do during class. And, and what is normal classwork is now the homework. 
now they all have access to uh, the video lessons, whereas in the past they may they may not have that. I think overall it's it's a net plus for the students.